hi beauties how are you hopefully you're good wherever you are welcome back to my youtube channel in today's video i'll be showing you how to install these soft locks and i find this way of parting it takes very short time compared with the regular one we used to do and i'll be showing you step by step so if you're my returning subscriber thank you so much for coming back i do appreciate your love and your support but if you're new to this family you're welcome my name is Gloria Tui, and before you leave kindly give this video a big thumbs up because if you do that youtube will push this video and more people they will see this video and also don't forget to subscribe as you can see my hair looks short because i wash my hair like two hours before i start braiding and i decide i don't need to stretch my hair out because i'm going to do locks i use this all sun gel and i've been using this gel for a while this gel worked pretty good on my hair and then i do this c shell part and i'm telling you this but it's so easy and takes very short time compared with the regular way I used to part. Especially if you're a beginner and if you're struggling on how to part, I will highly recommend use this method and you'll be amazed. So first what I do is to create the best because I'll crochet this hair. So I part my hair for the first time and then I apply some gel. Then I redo the part. Uh, I redo the section again to get clean and neat section. When I braid or when I create the best, I make sure I create very loose because later when I wrap the locks, I don't want to cause any tension on my scalp and I just want to enjoy my protective hairstyle. So I keep going like this and you will follow like every time when you make a new section follow the two previous sections so make sure you are doing the next section you do in between the two previous sections just like the way we used to do in other regular parts like box i don't know should i call it like box sections and then i use these soft locks i got this from local store suppliers which comes with some curls ends and i use this spring afro kinky i use two parts and this is 24 inches long so i go ahead and i cut into two because i don't need that long and that this is the amount of hair i'll be using in every lock you may either decide to use less or more depending on the section because you want to make sure you when you start wrapping it's the same length with the soft locks you don't want to start with very thin and then you find out the locks looks bigger no we don't do that so after i crochet the locks then i fold my hair then i take a piece of spring here that i crochet like this i keep small piece on other side and then I start wrapping. You may either decide to wrap going right or left. It's all up to you depending depending on which way it's easier for you to hold. And then keep wrapping. And when you are wrapping, you don't need to wrap too tight, honey. Just be gentle because you don't want to cause any tension. This is protective hairstyle, not hair breakage style, okay? So just be gentle. And I wrap till the first section finish then i add the rest the other piece i keep then i keep wrapping till i make sure this hair is over and after that i put the locks on my palm and then i roll just like the way you see and we are good to go again i crochet the lock and then i pull my hair through as you can see and then i make sure i hold my hair well because I don't want to leave my hair out and then I take a piece of kinky hair then I crochet one side you have to make sure it's longer than other because you want your locks to look even and then keep wrapping and don't forget you have 
you have to be gentle don't wrap too tight because you don't want to cause tension and keep wrapping till the first piece finish and then take other piece and then keep wrapping till that piece finish as well and then after that put the lock on your palm make sure you roll a couple times and then you are good to go let me show you how i part front side because i receive couple of comments people they're asking me to show how i do fronts because i usually show back side middle one section and in front only one section and quick let me show you like two or three sections on how i part and create the best in front and then i will go to show you guys the final look don't forget when you create the best make sure you make loose so that when you wrap the hair you'll not feel pain so the rest of the video i'm going to put music and i hope you guys enjoy so enjoy the rest of the video And here I almost done this is the last section and I'm telling you to braid my entire head took me like uh, to braid plus parting it took me around four good hours and then this is how my hair looks like let me show you how my hair looks like at the back and guys I really wish to know your comment. What do you think about this uh, shape? And what do you think about this protective style? And then let me go ahead and put on my makeup. And guys, this is the final look for today's video. Hopefully you enjoy watching this video and you get something. If yes, kindly give this video a big thumb up. Subscribe and don't forget to share this video with your loved ones you wish that know how to get this look i love you guys so much and i will see you soon on my next video bye bye